water. Uh, All right, uh, good to be with you guys. Uh, <clears throat> I'm proud of the effort of our, of our group. Thought we did some really good things, um, particularly on the defensive end. That's a Penn State team that obviously we beat there, but it's playing really well. They've won three out of four, and it really um, had taken some teams, uh, Purdue, right to, the, right to the edge. You're playing them again a month later. Micah's done a great job with them. Uh, they are uh, really difficult to play because of how they play. Because they're, you, know, you can't speed them up. You can't speed them up. So it's going to be a low possession game, and you've got to make a mess. <clears throat> so I'm proud of a, a lot of things here today. Uh, much better, our best defensive effort since Christmas. We've had some, some really poor ones. Um, and hopefully, uh, I think we'll get back to making shots. And, but the biggest thing we got to be able to do is continue to grow in our, in our defensive effort. This was a good step. Chris, when they control the, the tempo and the pace like they tried to, yeah. how important was it to take care of the glass? And, and you only had nine turnovers today. Yeah. Both. They don't turn you over a whole lot, but we couldn't have careless ones, Adam. And um, I thought their five offensive rebounds were able to keep it kind of within a two-possession game there at halftime. Um, so we really were on our guys about that. But um, uh, those two things were critical. In a game like this, uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't take bad shots. You couldn't turn it over. You couldn't give them extra possessions because they were, they were going to be able to control to some degree the tempo. And, and on a day when, like you said, the offense was a little bit of, of a struggle, did you learn anything about how this team can maybe win a game defensively? That hasn't necessarily been a call to card this season. No, well, it has at times. Uh, Wisconsin, I thought we, we beat Wisconsin. But to your point, I get your point. It's kind of our offense has been the, the more significant of the two uh, sides. But Wisconsin, we won a game with our, our defense. Duke, we beat with our defense. Um, I think we just have to continue to be, be better on that end and, and continue to grow. Uh, in our efficiency offensively. We weren't super efficient offensively today. Uh, we didn't make a ton of shots, but we got to the line at a really, really high level, which was good to see. You just mentioned there, you know, you had really good defensively. The two big wins you got before you went on your pause, and I guess you're trying to work to get that back a little bit. Like maybe of, of all the things that that break impacted, do you think maybe defensive or mental might have been sort of top that list? Yes. I think some of our um, – I think we, we've got to recom this group has to continue to recommit on that end um, because we can't overwhelm you with defensive ability across the board. I think at times our offense can, can be really, really good, but we can't overwhelm you. And, ha and pulling a guy like Michi and his ball pressure out, as, as little as that sound, that sounds that that's a factor, um, especially in a game like this where they're so heavy ball screen centric. But yeah, I think we did, we lost a little momentum I just I think we've got to continue to reconnect. Our, our Northwestern game, when we scored it, was probably one of our defensive, worst defensive efforts of the year. So I just think that and in, uh, um, in the Wisconsin game, those both those games, we had to get, the, get that back. You guys got to the line 30, yeah. 36 times because the team doesn't foul a whole lot. Yeah. And, and I know your free throw rate had not been exceptionally high the last few games. But what was the difference in that today? I thought uh, we did a good job driving it. Um, better, much better in the second half. I thought we were settling a little bit, but I thought we drove it really well. Malachi drove it. He's continued to drive the ball better. We got, we got to make more free throws, but uh, getting there is really important. And then when you, in the last four minutes of the game, when you can execute and get to the line, that's really how you can close games out. And uh, when we've beaten teams this year in the last four minutes, whether it was a Duke game or other games, we've been able to get there and, and, and knock them down. And, uh, Penn State had a little bit of a hot start offensively, yeah. and then you you called a timeout. You guys called a timeout. And I'm, I'm just wondering, like, because it seemed like you guys looked like a different team defensively uh, out of that timeout. What, what was the message there and kind of what allowed you guys to kind of change the momentum there? Yeah, we, we have to guard better, top line. You know, we have followed the, the scouting report, but it just it comes down to, to effort. A game like this was going to require, you were going to have to play 28 seconds of defense. You can't do that, they're, you're, they're, they're probably going to beat you. you got to play 28 seconds of defense. Uh, uh, not every time, but in a lot of cases. And uh, uh, I, I think for the last 36 minutes or 35 minutes, we were really good. And it seemed like, I mean, after getting, uh, after Zed kind of went down with that injury late in the first half, and he can't 
came up, kind of set the tone for you guys offensively there in that second half. What did he provide early on that allowed you guys to kind of drive focus Zach. in? Yeah, Zach. Physicality, yeah. Deep, deep post position. I thought he had some really good looks around the rim in the first half. Really good looks that he'll make more of. Um, he just needs to focus on finishing and not, not play, play to get fouled. But I thought he had good physicality. His proud of Zed's uh, physicality imposing himself. Chris, just given the way this game went today, it kind of controlled the pace a little bit. A lot of whistles, but not really a chance to get any type of rhythm here. Yeah. Were you happy with the shots you guys were getting, even if they weren't falling? I'd go back and look at it, but a lot of them I was. A lot of the shots we were getting, I, I did feel pretty good about, honestly. I thought we missed some easy ones in the first half. Um, yeah, I, I, honestly, I, there's not a whole that I, a whole lot that I looked at. And I was like, man, that was, that was a bad. You know, that was not a high quality shot. I just think their defense is good. It's been good since uh, this, in the stretch here. We just we missed some open ones. And uh, you kind of mentioned already last week. The offense is great. The defense is not today. Defense is pretty great. The offense is not. I mean, given how the last month and a half has gone here, do you have a game that you can kind of point to and say that that was kind of a complete game for this team so far this year? Um, I mean, we played pretty well against Wisconsin, beat them by yeah. 18. Um, you know, the Duke game, um, probably Seton Hall neutral. Um, but I'd have to go back and look at the numbers, but I would say those were three pretty complete games. Um, oh, the, Pitt, the game at Penn State, I thought was, was really good on both ends. Um, those would be a couple, not not perfect, but I'm just saying where we had a little bit of a balance of being, you know, pretty good on both ends. It seemed like Zed ended up being okay, but what was going through your head when you seen him pull that ankle with the injury issues you've had this season? Yeah, you know, I, it's in the midst of the game, you, you know, you try not to feel sorry for yourself. I just went to check on him to make sure he, he was okay and. Um, I thought Joey came in in limited minutes and provided a spark. Um, you know, we we um, you know we just we need guys to stay ready, and I, I give Joey Brunk a lot of credit because he he really stayed ready and was was aggressive when he came in there. But certainly, I'd like to not lose another you know, player to injury. You you made a lot of hay this season with downtown shooting. Kind of went away from that today. Didn't shoot a whole lot of threes in the second half. What did you see from Penn State that sort of? thought we were able to attack them inside. I don't know necessarily why uh, we didn't maybe take as many threes. Um, you know, I'd have to go back and look at it. You know, they were switching a lot, which makes you make kind of individual plays um, with, with a lot of their switching. Um, that, I'd, I'd, I'd have to think about it. But, you know, we certainly, we always want to take a lot of threes, but we want to take good ones. Seems like Eugene's minutes are a byproduct of Well, I thought he made two big free throws. Um, I thought he um, had a nice uh, attack of the closeout, and he's got to be a high-level, high-detail defender. I was really happy for Gene. I thought he gave really quality minutes today, and uh, um, we need that from him. Um, and uh, he's just got to continue to grow in, in that role. Uh, he can really rebound it at his position. Yeah, he's going to he's, – he's important for us. You, you talked about earlier in the season that if you're not going to rely on any scoring from Kyle, you're going to run into this. With Justin struggling to shoot the way here, what what do you guys need to do in order to maybe get those guys going, get them a little more active on the offensive end to help you guys? You know, when you're not having a great day shooting the ball, you get those guys going ball. Yeah, I have to take a look at it. You know, I think um, Justin's got to find some in transition. He's got to. He's just got to stay, stay ready to shoot. He's, he's, he's missed some good ones. He's got to stay ready. The guy, he gets a lot of attention in this league. When you're as good a shooter as he is for three or four years, he, he gets a lot of attention. Um, I've got no issue with, with how he played today. You know, I think Kyle, um, he'll, he'll start making more threes than, than he's, in, he's missed a few here, but I believe he'll start making more. But he did a really good job driving. I thought Kyle Young's activity was really important. When you guys get into a game down the stretch, One of the things I've learned is screaming at your team in timeouts, make your free throws, has never worked. So I try to stay away from that tactic. Um, 
I think you're, honestly, guys just have to relax. And uh, they were getting to the line. Um, we've got good shooters getting to the line. They just have to trust their stroke and, and make it. Um, I didn't think that Penn State would go away because I've just watched the last four or five games. So you kind of anticipate it. They, they've got a really good, give, give Micah, give those guys, older guys credit. They have a real, they have a strong will about them. Um, so um, we didn't anticipate it would be something where we go from 10 to you know 15 in a hurry. And then this might kind of sound like a silly question, but with the offensive struggles, what do you do to try to get things kick started on offense when shots just aren't falling? Yeah, I, I think, I didn't, you know, honestly, again, I give their defense a lot of credit. I, I, our offense will be fine. That's the least of my concerns. Um, I think I think our offense will be fine. Um, we just got to keep, the guys got to keep taking good shots. The ball's got to move a little bit more than what it did today. That would probably be my one thing I'd look at. There was a possession towards the end. Uh, Penn State was up, I think. I mean, they were down five with about 90 seconds left when Sessons was coming in and Kyle dove out, yeah. grabbed it. Yes. and then go the other way. So that's a big possession when they could maybe cut it to one possession game. Play the game. How impactful a player can Kyle be even when he's not scoring, and how big of a play was that in that moment? Play the game. Just play the game. I thought it was, uh, it was the difference in a lot of ways, you know, from that thing being a one possession game is the play of the game. And that's why it's so important. We need more guys to embrace that type of stuff because I thought we missed one about a two minutes earlier that was right on the floor in front of us. We missed it. We didn't we didn't play out. Um, that was the play of the game. I was gonna ask about those type of plays that Jamari had a couple of steals, yeah. things that maybe don't, you know, yeah. it's not a dunk or something like that, but in a tight game like that, how crucial do those plays a number of guys made them today. Uh, Eugene I think had a back cut that led to a dunk. Just those little plays in, in a tight game, how much difference can that make? So important to me to play. You know those Effort plays, an offensive rebound here or there, Gene cutting to get open. You know, we were really trying to get early scores in the first seven, eight seconds of the clock, and I thought we did that at times. But our pace could have been a little bit better, but we were really trying to, just because we knew it would be hard to score at times. Um, but I think uh, th those plays you mentioned, uh, they're, they're usually the tipping point. Could you have a timeline for Michi to return a, a couple weeks, I think they might have said on the broadcast? That's kind of what I anticipate. Um, it's really day to day. Obviously, uh, I feel bad for Michi. We miss Michi. We love having him out there. His burst and shooting helps us. But, um, you know, he won't come back until his injury is healed, until he feels ready to do that. And, uh, he's completely clear from, you know, by the medical staff. Excuse me, one of the things that Micah said was that they their defense tried to make you beat them with individual plays. Yeah. How much do you think that is a strength of this team? And, and how much is that something that you think is a, is a thing you can lean on going forward? Um, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a strength of our team, you know, individual, you know, kind of, um, especially with, with, some, you know, with some guys that could do that, maybe a Justice and a, and a Michi song. Out. I don't know that that's necessarily a strength of our team. We'll certainly have guys who can do it. EJ's a mismatch. Uh, Malachi's growing into that role. But, uh, um, you know, I think I think I understand his point there because that is how their defense is built, um, is, is really making you play over top of them, of them and make, make you make plays to beat them. Anything else? Okay.